I just want to say how incredibly hard it is for me not to sing along when I'm holding the mic, listening to my friend's band, singing well, there's a badass song. Life is full of challenges. <laughs> so that is our intro music today from the Golden Cadillacs, You and Me. Um... We know those guys. They're fucking awesome. Yeah. So we like those guys a lot. Go I check them out. Their albums on Spotify. I think they released their whole album this past year as um, individual tracks, like every month. So I think the whole album's out now. But if you go on Spotify and search the Golden Cadillacs or GoldenCadillacs.com, yeah, you'll find them. They're dope. Yeah. Give it a listen. They're great. Um, so here we are. This is Tim and Lauren. We are that sailing couple, and this is our um, first or second. We we just recorded for like an hour. Our first podcast. This is definitely our first podcast. First podcast. So this is the, the first content we intend to publish um, under that sailing couple. We're really excited about it. Um, Lauren and I have started a business before. But we are fucking serious this time, and can't nobody hold us down now. So here we are, that sailing couple. We're um, probably just published this on our website. I don't know where you'll find our podcast, but we're gonna we're, we'll host it on our website for now until we find a home. And um, what we've got right now is um, we've been waiting. Like we got there's there's two hundred and how many, Lauren? Selling couples on YouTube? No, on our Instagram followers. Oh. How many people follow us right now on Instagram? That's Speak into your important. microphone, please. Okay. We have 280 followers. 280 people already following us on Instagram, and we haven't really even posted anything. So what we're we've we've got something in the works. We're here to introduce it to you today. We're we're gonna do a top ten um, sailing couples on YouTube. Correct. And we're just not good at this yet. Um, we've we've done we've made six memes. How we're many up, how many posts have you made on Instagram? We're up to six memes on Tell me how many posts offline. you've made on Instagram. On Instagram, let's see our posts. We have You've made like a dozen. I did a grid of nine off the bat. Uh huh. And then I did a nine box grid of our first NFT. The oh, fractal. Yeah, totally. I remember that. Okay. And then I did a Pano three grid shot. So then. I did a series of three, so another pretty, series like, of nine. I've done a couple dozen yeah, posts. Yeah, a couple dozen posts. Okay. So basically my point is thank you guys for the response. And I am a taken back by how big a response we've had over such like minimum what I would consider like filler content. And like we promise there is more. Like we're, we're stoked. Like this is us. We're, we want to do this. We... Um, feel like we feel really drawn to the space. You know, we spent a lot of time during COVID watching all these sailing couples on YouTube. Okay. And like, this is a dream that Lauren and I have had for at least a decade. Like back 10 years ago, we lived in a van together. Um, for me, my dream of sailing as a lifestyle started in 2005. Okay. I was individually yeah like i it was probably around the same time however i was referring to us as as a couple as a couple it was definitely one of the first things we talked about when we got together yeah totally it was like something that connected us i think when we met it was like that we both um had been sailing and had a desire to like 
explore that lifestyle further. Yeah, it was definitely something for me that's been an anchor of the relationship over the course of time, even though it was more in the back of my mind or on the back burner when other things took precedence. It was something that drew me to you personally, and it was something that kept me committed to the relationship even when things got hard. Totally. Yeah, and I think like as far as it being a dream, part, you know, part of it for me is like I I knew that I was not a solo sailor. 100%. Before I uh, like I've never had to try to figure it out. You know what I mean? Like I knew that I wanted to sail with someone. I feel the same way. Or with a crew of people. And, you know, as I get older, it, you know, you have less and less roommates. And, like, that reality sets in that, like, this is only going to happen if I do it, like, with a life partner. Mm -hmm. You know, my friend Tyler did it. Uh, he sailed a boat around the world for five years. Um, and he had a rotating crew. Um Tyler brought a uh, wizard's eye. I don't know if any of you guys have seen him. He was a very early YouTuber. Yep. Um, professional kayaker. I think he was on Vimeo, not YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Back then, a lot of people used Vimeo because um, they used, they did high, higher quality. They used uh, YouTube compressed the shit out of your videos. And uh, Vimeo would, would do them like full quality. And I mean, this is back when people were recording on like high eight and stuff. Um, you know, digital tape and, uh, Tyler ran the tallest waterfall ever run in a kayak, um, up in, uh, is it Montana? Not sure. Yeah. It's, it's way up North. It's, Washington. Um, it's called Prowse Falls. Um, I, 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 so I think it's on the Platte river. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's, it's way up North near the Canadian border. And it's 186 feet tall. We can definitely look it up. Yeah, we can look it up. And I suggest that you go and find Tyler running that waterfall. It's one of the most incredible videos I've ever seen. He stuck it. Like, he styled it. Like, it's not like he did a header or fell out of his boat. Like, he ran it like it was a 30-footer and just mobbed it. But anyway, he did it. He sailed around the world. He had all these pro athletes come. Um he did, they, they, my friend Will went kayaking with him in Madagascar from the boat. Um, he did, he had surfers out. He had, yeah. I, they did everything. A lot of adventure it, it, tourism it really using cool. Wizard's Eye as a base. Mm -hmm. And then they were sponsored by NRS and um, Arcteryx and Kavu and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But, um, but anyway, um, yeah, I saw him do it with all his friends and I saw like what work it was and like how much of a, like, just mission getting those people together was and like I, I quickly realized like that you know the sailing thing I needed a partner mm -hmm. and Lauren's been my die hard ride or die for almost over a decade now yeah for me I was a solo backpacker in 2005 when I met a couple who was a sailing couple um, who invited me to spend the night aboard their small little day sailor up on a lake along the Pacific Crest Trail in Oregon. And after spending that night on deck of their boat under the Oregon stars, they invited me down to Mexico to uh, visit their other sailboat that they kept down there. And... When I was on a sailboat for the first time, it was also never something that I wanted to do alone in the same way that I would be comfortable out solo backpacking. Off the bat, it was, you know, a team sport. Gotta have a team. <laughs> it takes a village. Yeah. So out on the PCT, uh, doing the solo backing packing that I did in my early 20s towards the end of like a six month hike I remember being out in the woods by myself and having a very sublime and poignant moment and <coughs> having the realization that it would be really cool if there was somebody else to experience that sublime feeling and with sailing and going so far out there um, I think part of the magic is going to be having somebody to experience that with alongside you. 
dope. That's dope. All right, you want to get into the memes? Yeah, let's definitely get All into right, the memes. All right, so we've been wanting to do this for a long time. Um, I fucking love memes. Yeah. Like, I think it's just, it's culture. It's who we are. When we started the idea for that sailing couple, we've been racking our brains, I feel, for a long time about what business would be good. I mean, for years, really. Oh, you know, it on the back burner type of thing. But more recently, seriously, you know, what can we do? And that sailing couple, when whoever it was that brought it, I'm like, it's fucking perfect. What do you mean? The idea for the for brand. The title? Yeah, for the brand, because it's fucking hilarious. Well, it's my idea. Right. So, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> So I'm just kidding. I don't know. It, it was definitely a, a thing that like once it got said, it was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's right? what we're doing. Okay. And it makes because sense. everybody knows that sailing couple, whether you know people that sail or not, like, you know, because, OK, I was like I was like that raft guide guy. You know, like, yeah, I, and I was like that backpacking chick. Yeah. And like everybody knows these like fringe characters that like, you know, it's like. It's so, like alternative lifestyle choices. Yeah. And they're always the coolest people. They're laid back and they connect people and they're like, oh yeah, you know, like, you know, Tim and Lauren, like I know Tim and Lauren, like, you know, it, yeah, they're the like, people that aren't there at Thanksgiving and Christmas, but they're talked about. Yeah, totally. I don't know if y'all have ever had a Friendsgiving, but like. This is the crew at Friendsgiving. Like. The crew at Friendsgiving <laughs> for sure. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um, that sailing couple, man. Like, normies are weirded out by us. Oh, yeah. You know? And it, it's like, but they're also jealous. Like, they don't know what to think. But well, they, you might think they're jealous. I Maybe some of them are jealous. Oh, they totally are. <laughs> <laughs> they hate us because they ain't us. They hit your anus? <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, give me my seat back. Y'all know what we're saying, though. Yeah, totally. So, I mean, I mean, because all y'all are sailing couples, too. Like, we know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, me. Ellie, get off my couch. Dog couch, over here. All right, well... So let's do this again. Let's get into the memes. We're going to get into the so memes. So we're going to introduce y'all to so, some of our favorite sailing yeah, couples. Oh my God. We, we fucking love y'all. Like all you guys that are on YouTube, like putting yourself out there and like making stories and like making light of your hardships and like just showing all of us like couch sailors. Yeah. Inviting us that into you your can living room. Do it? Like, I mean, dude, like, thank y'all for coming to my house every week and just showing me some shit. Like, I fucking love it. I love that I feel connected to y'all, even though I've never met you. And like, this is our way of just saying that we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Memes are our love language, man. Like, we feel like they're important. And, like, just please, if you're on one of these memes, like... Listen to our pod. Please. <laughs> I hope you're listening to this. And just understand the place that they come from. And, like, if it feels like we're making fun of you, like, we are. But we make fun of ourselves, too. And, like, we... Like, if we... If we didn't love you, like, we wouldn't be teasing you, okay? So... It definitely comes from a place of love. All right. I hope it goes without being said. No, it does. And, like, we just... We know. We haven't been too hard on anybody either. Like, we're... We... You know. There's no lines being crossed here, I don't think. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. So, we definitely wanted to give some love to the sailing couples that we've been most inspired by or felt connected to. That's the intent. And, and like our idea the, was a top 10. 
The idea because, was the top 10. Because top 10 videos are big on YouTube, right? And like, but right now we're going with this like audio format to where we're more like freestyle and more live and and feel more connected to our audience, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and so I, I want to take this to, I want to take this to more of like a call in or Twitter spaces Mm -hmm. format to where we can more interact with our audience. Like, and I, that's my kind of like long-term goal for the podcast. Like I would like it to be more of like a live show format. I think that's great. Um, where we can interact with our audience and you know, I want part you know, I want a lot of the minutes to be our audience's opinion and Mm -hmm. stories as much as our own. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I just I think that's where it's going. I think that's where we need to be, and mm-hmm. that's where that's where I want to be. So that's where we're going. Right? I love that. So if you are memed on this inaugural episode, then please know we would love to talk to you. Yeah, totally. We're gonna do interviews, right? Like that's kind of where we're gonna start with this. You know, we're obviously pre-recorded today. Um, we got a Zoom recorder and two SM58 microphones. And this is our this is our setup right now. Yeah. And I think the idea of doing like an open space like you're talking about is super smart and keeping it organic and natural and live is exciting. No, totally. And I I do want to I do want to try and get to that point where we're doing like a weekly live show. I think that's um, a great idea. And 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 have an open invitation for fist pump for that any guest pound it baby Shh, let's get it let's take a little, little beer chug let's don't fucking chug my beer to that all right let's get this shit live get to the memes yeah. all right baby without Who's further ado our first meme are we let's gonna, do so we're gonna let's count start down, here right so let's, we only have no, six we we're just have gonna 10. start here we're gonna go with this one you're gonna first. go with number one yes we are on because, the picture. okay this one awesome is fucking special to me because <laughs> When we <laughs> saw this couple for the first time on oh. YouTube, I like, I mean, I just, I mean, I fell in love <laughs> with this accent because it's just like silly, right? And then, you know, honestly, I think that like, all right, I, I'm just talking shit now. But if you guys know Ryan and Sophie from Ryan and Sophie Sailing, they were one of our first... um you know, introductions to sailing YouTube. And I was like, wow, like Ryan is like, hates the camera, but he is on point with his like technical shit. And then like, come to find out he's a pilot and like, you know, uh, just seems like a really like down to earth, like honest person. And, you know, he lives with this like tall, crazy, french girl like who's just beautiful beautiful and uh eccentric yeah and just a star like she's intelligent she's a star like she's a star she's a brilliant marketer she carries the channel obviously yeah i mean but ryan is amazing but ryan carries him on the water for sure well it's a team effort no exactly it takes a fucking village but anyway we love these two and so what we've got is uh, you know, we just screen grabbed them from one of their videos um, early on in the med. And Ryan, of course, is rocking his like. Now we got this picture off of their Instagram. Oh, is it on their Instagram? Yeah, this anyway, is a high quality photo that we have. It for really this is. Here. It's one of the better ones. Yeah. And, and Ryan's wearing his Iowa shirt and looks, of course, and it's like he, sh- he needs a new one. And he looks kind of confused and just in general bad and. But he's holding the wheel. He's holding the wheel. And and he's looking concerned about whatever's coming out of Sophie's mouth. There's and nothing coming out of Sophie's ha- mouth like, because she has duck lips and she is like voguing the camera. She's got like hardcore. this Kim Kardashian face going on like with her hardcore. like freshly blown out hair. And I mean, Ryan looks like he's been sailing for like a week and hasn't showered. You know what I mean? And Sophie looks like she's just freshly blown out for like her fucking headshots. And when your wife is a YouTube star, but you're just not that into selfies. 
Meme number one. Meme number one. There we go. Ryan and Sophie, we fucking love you. Uh, we're going to post this on Instagram. And um, we look forward to seeing your whole um, Atlantic Crossing uh, videos as they come out. Um, we miss seeing you guys the last couple months. And uh, we're glad you made it safe and sound. Yeah, I definitely across the Atlantic followed again. the blog, which was really cool. Um, so I think Sophie's an amazing writer and storyteller and documenter. And the editing that they do on their videos is something that I truly appreciate. Also, the value that they're giving from an informational perspective, um, I think is awesome. So by far, they're in like my top three for selling couples on YouTube because of the actual value that they deliver and the time and the care that is clearly put into editing the content that they're putting out. It's much appreciated. Yeah, and their channel is very well curated. Um, they have it all set up with different like like ryan's tech tip corner and like where he's really good about explaining um maintenance mm -hmm. and good titles good thumbnails the titles are descriptive of what the content is generally speaking um they had that budget series on what it costs mm -hmm. they to interviewed sail. three different kind of classes of boats and like what people spend on their Love cruising habit that. they're one of the only channels that i've kind of like wanted to really go back in time not just jump in in real time but kind of like watch from the beginning and see their process yeah it's like it's very vlog based but it's way more than a vlog mm -hmm. and um and it's it is it's a channel mm -hmm. you know and i think that um you know when you look at like what people have done with some like some of these like podcasting networks and stuff in this new media um movement that's happening like we think Ryan and Sophie are on the right track, and that's why they are, you know, really highly rated in our uh, top 10 sailing couples. So let's, uh, moving along, thank you, Ryan and Sophie. We look forward to having a sundowner with you guys and some good French cooking. I'll contribute something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we're we're uh, wine and cheese connoisseurs as well, so we'll bring some good port wine. Yep. And um, I can mix a cocktail. Lauren, yeah, is my bartender on retainer. I definitely think I could out mojito Sophie's mojito. All right, next up, one of our um, other favorite sailing couples. We have bums on a boat. The tales of Boab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we. Fucking love these guys. We first saw them as guests on a, another sailing channel. Um, guess which ones. But anyway, um, Joel and Michael are awesome people from what we can tell. Um, very genuine. Um, definitely learning and just not afraid to say it. Um, we have so much respect for these guys. Like they just sailed their boat from, um, where like they were in like Puerto Rico and it's they went to Grenada, Grenada. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. To get out of like hurricane season. And they were like maybe a little bit late leaving and like their boat is just not fucking equipped for passages. <laughs> <laughs> so like they're killing, I have no idea how old these kids are. Like, I don't think they're. No, they he's he's like in his early thirties. He's in his early okay. I think, and she's like in her late twenties. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah, They're a little bit matter. younger than it we are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are, yeah. and it doesn't matter how much experience you have. It it matters like that you're out there chasing your dreams, mm -hmm. and that you're out there like believing in yourself and believing 100%. in what you're doing, and like oh they are out there doing it 100 percent. yeah and so love them we totally respect their vibe and their charge and yep. we got a fucking sweet screen grab from this most <laughs> recent trip that just says let's go baby and you can see like that joel is very sick <laughs> <laughs> at the wheel of his uh you know what it their boat's like 30 shock mate right shock mate what how long shock mate 
It was built in Greece. I know they want to sell it back to Greece because their intro the tells me so. Every time. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> She's so serious about it, too. It's funny. But uh, what is... Uh, oh, they have totally, a small boat. Yeah, what? it's like 35 feet or 38 feet. Like, I don't what? know how big their boat is. We can look it up on the internet. We can look it up on the internet. All this shit is on the internet, people. So if you are following along at home, just check them out. This is uh, Boab. Bums on a boat. Bums on, on a boat. YouTube. So we definitely love that they call it Bums on a Boat as yeah, well. Yeah, so we have a... We the first brand that we started was called Hobo's Market. Yep. And we specialized in used outdoor clothing that we resold on eBay. Um, and this was back in like 2012 when uh, you know it like the eBay app was not like it was in its first kind of like thing on the phone. You know, like it wasn't it wasn't as easy as it is now to just like post an eBay item on your phone. Um, but that's what we did. Like we had a little storefront and we were open on the weekends next to the American River and we had a um, eBay store and we were called Hobo's Market. And so we totally vibe with the bums on a boat and um, and we have we're about that life you know we'll do what it takes to get by mm -hmm. mad respect even if it makes you feel like a bum the beautiful shock mate is a carter 33 designed 33. by englishman dick carter so yeah joel is retching or gagging over the side of the boat with his hand on i the would wheel. call it retching I think he's gagging because we watched a video and I didn't see nothing. Well, yeah, he, no, because he was like driving. But the way that this rope is positioned or this, sorry, yeah. this spare line is positioned off their, um, you know, lifeline in the back there. They, it looks like it's coming out of his mouth. Like he looks like he's vomiting. Yeah. This coiled line. It's a nice like, screen grab we, we got. Yeah, it's a pretty good. It's like really pixelated. So, you know, if you're into NFTs, like you'll really like the art, man. It's totally <laughs> rare. <laughs> All right. On to the next. On to the next. All right. And like I said before, these are in no particular order at this point in time. Like we are going to do a top 10 video. But we only have six memes right now, so we're just kind of going through them. I think this is probably like the order that we created them in. I don't know. But the next sailing couple. Where'd you go, Lauren? Lauren. Lauren, please come to the principal's office. She rolled out for a minute. She'll be back. Um... I'm just going to keep it going. It doesn't matter if she's here or not. Like, I'll just fucking talk over her anyway. So I might as well continue on my own. Here we are. Can you guess who our next sailing couple is? And please, uh, when you're down there liking, commenting, and subscribing, will you tell us in the comments who your favorite sailing couple is? And why. And why. Because... We might not know him. Like, we are... We're not that deep. Yeah, we're not that deep. And, like, you know, me and Lauren, like, we like what we like. Yeah. And we know what we like. Yep. And so once we find what we like, we ride with it. Yeah. And if so we, we might not have met your favorite sailing couple yet, yep. and we want to. Well, we might want to meet them for one video, but they're going to have to hold our attention. Well, I'm telling you, what I want to do is I want to be it. I want to be their favorite sailing couple. We want to be their favorite selling couple? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to vote, though. We're going to start with that. I we want to be your favorite that sailing I just couple be, podcast. Once we'll be a sailing couple, and then we'll start working on being their favorite sailing we couple. We want to be the definitive sailing couple podcast. That sailing couple, if you will. <laughs> okay. Right. So having the definitive sailing couple podcast is important for me is it i want us to be the best sailing couple podcast that sailing couple podcast that's important to me too did you know that I'm which is why the best guide on the okoe river <laughs> 
that best guide? Well, not currently, but I have been. You have been. Yeah, and, and I mean, if I went there today, like I would be. Straight up. Yeah. But so, anyway. we want to be the best sailing couple podcast. That's important to me. I'm the best skier on the mountain. I mean, because if you don't say it, then you're not. That's very you know, true. Like the, so even if, somebody out there is following me. <laughs> we'll find out about that. All right. Anyway. Anyway. So moving on. Will you introduce our next, um, our next couple? I feel like I've done the last two. In no particular order. We have a very special place of love in our hearts for the following couple who has gone to the lengths of getting their own sailing couple theme song. Um, Clark and Emily's adventures. Clark and Emily's adventures. <laughs> Is a catchy tune that if you're a fan of the channel, you may get an earworm let us uh know in the comments down below if you guys have ever seen clark and emily's videos let us know if you've ever had an earworm of clark and emily's theme song after watching their video and going about your day it's super catchy where do wait i heard i do there was another channel i heard another channel and it was a song and i was like dude that's it oh yeah who was it We'll have to think of that we'll one. We'll check it out. We'll let you know yeah, we'll we'll let, you in the comments one. below. <laughs> For sure. We'll get back to you on that one. But, you know, Emily. She's good. She's a musician. And, yep. like, I think that's one of the things that they like to do is that they are good at building community. Um, it seems like that's a really important thing to them. Um, they do the radio network yep, we at found their Anchorage in Emily and Georgetown. Clark, right? And Clark and Emily are definitely a couple that, like, I mean, how could you not want to run into them at Anchor? They're in Porta Plata, right? Where Where are they now? Where are Clark and Emily? We don't know where Clark and Emily are. I don't know where they are right now. I think a lot of the videos we watched, they were in um, Georgetown, right? And they were that's when we saw like their radio stuff. When she was on the radio, which I think is cool. Like I'm really interested in radio. Um, I think it's really cool that they're making the most out of those like uh, primitive networks. I mean, this is like fucking web like. 0 0.1 mm -hmm. you know what i mean like uh it, yeah they're they're on the vhf like you know talking to everyone in the anchorage like relaying transmissions like yeah and emily's pro yeah and super, super pro. focused uh-huh present mm -hmm. um aware Data oriented yeah and and clark is just i mean dude how many videos do we watch where he's helping someone like fix their shit yeah like i said like they're the couple that you want to run into yeah. you know what i mean because they're just living on that high vibe totally and yeah they're just they're they're there for their community they're they're building the community you mm -hmm. know i mean and that's like clark's an og uh, if i would say that is a nice way to put it mm-hmm what are you going to do? He been doing it. He been doing it. Yeah. So when he does his uh, educational videos about um, the philosophy and the financing and the investing and the lifestyle, um, for me, that's like super high value stuff. And when we started making the transition towards, um, you know, fast tracking this path to live aboard sailing and getting on with what it was that we've actually wanted to do since we met. Um, <coughs> his videos are resonating deep with me with themes that I'm trying to get out onto like some of the stuff that I've been working on writing, you know? So Clark and his philosophy, Emily and her philosophy, we can definitely get down with that. Um, and, that's the content from them that is the most inspiring for me. And it's super, it's super real. Yeah. And like on the real note, we, one of the things I really love about their channel is how open they are with their finances. It's amazing. Um, yeah. And like a lot of people in just our world today, 
are not very keen on you know it's the one thing that people like just don't money is taboo yeah it's weird it's like uh everybody wants to talk about how much they spend but like nobody talks about how much they make right i mean i i i don't know people like to give you bits and pieces of what they spend it's like becoming people love less to taboo show out their ferrari show out their you know jordan collection or whatever or their watch collection their board ape their board ape yeah club but yeah i mean it's um yeah, Clark's financial planning and stuff, which I mean, I just think that we're lacking in the United States anyway, is like I feel um, like being educated in the public school system in the United States, I feel like I was gypped on my financial education. You know, I feel like every financial education I got was from um, either something I sought out or something that my family taught me. And my family was shitty at teaching me about finance. You know, and I think that's the case with a lot of people mm -hmm. and that puts us at a disadvantage. Um, yeah. So Clark's putting nationally. And so we totally respect their um, really good wisdom out there. Right. And, and Emily we, as like well. we said about Ryan and Sophie, by example, like we said about Ryan and Sophie, their channels very well curated. They're good at getting information out there and like producing content that's deeper than a vlog and actually has utility. You know, so they're they're building a community that has utility and we totally see you and we respect you. And here we are making fun of you just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got when Emily you thought you found a sugar daddy, but he won't let you spend more than a thousand dollars a month. And we love you guys. Emily, you look like a sad, sad girl in this picture. And. Emily could definitely get a place at the sad girls. Bar. We know you're not a sad girl. Not at all. We know that you're a very happy, loving person. This is definitely a screen grab from a and video. And we totally grabbed this off one of your videos. Yeah. And um, we respect you. And we see you. And we, we appreciate you. what you're doing. We can't wait to meet you. So, yeah. Clark and Emily, thank whoop, you for whoop. being here today. We'll see you soon. Ha <laughs> ha. Who are we? What are we watching right now? What do we have on the TV? So currently on the TV, let's see. We definitely have some slow sailing going on. We, slow TV. We love some slow TV. On Channel Delos. The Channel Delos. Which we're talking about OGs now. So we love this boat. That dude. was a pretty oh good my segue. God. The ML is. Okay, we are in love with Delos, the oh, boat. It's so fucking dope. Like, it's just perfect. Like, I want to <sighs> sit in that cockpit and just, I mean, I just imagine how safe you feel in this thing. Mm -hmm. And, like, I mean, I used to drive a Suburban, and, like, this kind of, it's got that vibe where you're just, like, sitting up way up high. You know, you can see, I love it. They've got, like, the little sunroof zip-offs that, like, Brian pokes his fucking head out while he's, like, docking or whatever, and... They can talk. He can talk to Kaza while she's on the, on the anchor or whatever. I mean, then they do, do so much from the cockpit. Like, I mean, uh, it's one of my favorite uh, mm -hmm. videos and and parts of their whole adventure, which is like eleven years long at this point, um, was the whole the skeleton coast down in uh, in in South Africa. I don't when know they if I've left, seen that. That so must they have been left a, night, a day you were here alone. Oh, I must have been at the house. You must like, have had a bench session supposed without me. to be working, and I was watching like Della's videos. Or you whatever. asshole. So it was like uh, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but fucking um, Brady had his birthday in Cape Town, right? Oh, and they got lit. Oh, lit, lit, lit as fuck. They had like a rowdy crew at this point. Like it was a good crew. This was like one, like I said, it's like one of my favorite. Dulles seasons. I've watched a lot of it. Um, so they left Cape Town. They rolled up to like Nambia and they're out there on the skeleton coast and like climbing up these sand dunes and like, yeah, I just, I hope they had some like mushrooms or fucking LSD or something out there because it just looked really cool. I mean, I, I would want to, it's like, I feel like that's that my psychedelic adventures, like, 
I like to save it for places like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to eat acid in my living room, watch TV. I want to eat acid on the sand dunes or, like, in the Grand Canyon, you know? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Bleep it all out. It's going to be a huge edit. So, I really like the whole Dulles thing and the Nantmean Coast. And, um,. You just went down like a psychedelic wormhole. I did. I got all fucking. Well, they had like some like weird ass like naked party fucking like like. I mean, yeah, they were like. They should have been spun. I don't know. So. One time I I like I had this total like psychedelic experience like in this bay and in, in Baja with uh with all these bioluminescence. And like I wasn't on drugs, like I didn't eat any drugs. I was not like I was a hundred percent sober, like one, not even alcohol. Like I was on a fucking Knowles course, and a kayaking course, and like we like got to this bay and we like had dinner and like we looked over and like some waves were crashing with like it was just little like fucking six inch waves, you know, and we could see the bioluminescence like ripple down the beach, and we were like, holy shit. And so it was like 14 kids and our instructors, like everybody fucking got naked, like jumped in the fucking bay. It was like swimming around and shit. And like fucking, it was just dope as fuck, dude. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, it was a total like psychedelic experience, Mm -hmm. you know, but like not free living. Yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of why I went down the LSD rabbit hole and the fucking Nambia coast thing. But man, wish I was there with you guys. You guys party. You guys do cool shit. You guys get a lot of meaning from it. Um, I think that like, uh, Brian and Brady's like brother, you know, thing, like, I'm totally jealous of that. Like they, you guys have shared some cool shit. It's incredible. As brothers. Um, and like, yeah, Brian, like your whole like history and, um, you know, drop out to the real world, mm-hmm. like, you know, leave leave the whole suit and tie for the sailboat like dude living the dream respect bro totally paved the way for a lot of people inspired i mean so where'd you get this screen grab so from? many people so this is interesting because it is a picture on a video that's now a screen grab from a video. So it was a picture of the two of them that was incorporated into their video. Oh, I see. So is it on the wall? Is it like a Polaroid from the wall? It's not a Polaroid on the wall. This is a picture that was grabbed from their wedding episode. When I don't know if you watch that because you're not a sap like me, but I'm going to sit through your fucking wedding and I'm going to fucking let the tears roll down my face. Oh no! Did you watch the Dulles wedding and cry? Of course I on, did. Was it on the boat? They met on the boat, right? They met. This is okay. So like the episode that this photo is from is their wedding episode, which goes over how they met and stuff. So they were at anchor somewhere, and Kaza was at the bar with a couple friends and Brady, I think was working at the bar where the boat was. And so he was like, Brian, there's some hot chicks. We got to go back to the bar after my shift. And so they went back to the bar and brought, bought the girls margaritas and the rest is history. Oh my gosh. So dude, that Kaza, is great was like so is this that okay. night well okay is so the photo from the night they met we i don't know if, if it is from the night <laughs> seen that it's cool but I, I don't know but so kaz's friends were they went back and she's like nah she's like i'm going to the boat yeah like i'm gonna stay like i'm going to hang with these guys yeah <laughs> and I'm not gonna stop hanging with these guys. Yeah, that's so funny, dude. So then they had like long distance where she, you know, did end up going back, but then she kept coming back to Delos, and they had their relationship like that. So this picture is one of their like 
flashback pictures that they did in leading up to the wedding. How long have they been together? I don't know what, how I'm long just, they've been you together. You said you're the sappy one, so I'm just <laughs> fucking asking. You know, all right. I mean, no, I think they've been together. I mean, how many seasons have you been watching Delos? I think they met like a couple seasons into Delos, you know? Yeah. Maybe three or four years that they were on the boat. So they're going on a decade as well. They've obviously been together for a while. Yeah. So many seasons. And they had long distance, and then they had the early seasons, and when Brian was still on the boat. And now they have a baby, you know. Oh, you guys love each other and we can tell. And we can tell. So this picture is definitely one of their early party pictures, which there were a couple of on the flashback photos. And we like those because we've had those and we miss being like 20, dude. Like I yeah, do. This I picture. I miss being like 27. I wish I was 27. If I could be any age, if I could teleport to be any age, it would be. Forever 27. 27. Well, this is a picture of them partying for sure. So the caption on this photo says, when your little bro spent all the bias of beer money on Mezcal and nose Coronas. <laughs> Which is definitely something that I said. So don't be offended about my drug use quotations, but you know. This is who I am. I joke about drug use. Yeah. <laughs> not sure if Delos has. Yeah, we don't care if y'all do drugs or not. Like, we're not saying you do. We're not saying you don't. We're just saying that in this photo, like, you look fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but happy. But no, we love Delos. They're OGs. Like, they fucking showed everybody how to do this YouTube sailing shit. Mm -hmm. And, um,. They got a fucking badass boat and they got a badass captain. And, and now they the got first. a badass younger generation coming up. Dude. Well, let's talk about the like fact we got that kids the being born into YouTube. Yeah, they're the first YouTube sailing couple to talk about crypto. Oh, yeah. They had the crypto post five days ago. Yeah. And they're talking about NFTs. Yeah, and that's dope because that's what I do. I fucking don't do shit but spend all of Lauren's money on cryptocurrency and NFTs. And one day, none of it's going to fucking matter anymore. The NFTs? None of it. We're not going down that rabbit hole. So, okay. All right, Delos. We on from Delos. And... We're totally interested in your NFT. Yeah, yeah, we would totally buy the NFT. I would probably buy like more than one, just in hopes to like flip it on the yeah. retail market. <laughs> hopes I'm fucking like, riding that Dallas <laughs> wave all the way to the bank. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, but I think that honestly, like, I, I mean, just read my fucking response to your shit and tell me what you think. But I think fractionalized ownership is. Did like, you write something? Yeah, I responded. I, I pumped. Yeah, I put a comment on YouTube, and then I also sent a DM on Instagram. Did you do it under that sailing couple? No, I did it under Hopeless Market. I should have done it under that sailing couple. You need couple. to do it I'm, under that sailing well, couple. Well, I'm stupid, so there's the thing. Well, now next time you'll know. Yeah. Anyway, Brian. Anyway. That's me, Tim. Hopeless <laughs> Market. Okay. I got out of hand during the fucking... During Delos. Delos. You totally did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Next couple in no particular order. Two more inches. Next couple in no particular order. We have a couple that's from a La Florida. Florida? La Florida. I have heard of this place. Yeah. So when people come up from La Florida to the Okoe River, we call them La Floridians. Don't say that. <laughs> is, that <laughs> is that discriminatory? I thought you were going to say something else. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what you thought I was going to say. But this couple is from Florida. So I think Florida is kind of a vibe in the sailing world i'm just saying also in the motorboating world so if you're into that kind of thing 
if you're into that kind of thing. So this couple, mad respect because they definitely went for it and figured it out as they went. Um, Project Boat, Project Channel in the early stages, which is not the route that we want to go personally. So people that went about it in that way, I think is something that we can respect and say, yeah, not interested um, in buying that fixer upper um, and having to figure it out as we go. But very cool to see people go that route with it and then come out the other side wildly successful. Yeah. Well, and we know that we're, you know, that's everyone's path. Like your yeah. path is like, you know, taking what you have and making it better and like, you know, fixing what breaks are along the way. Like we know that that's like the reality of like what we're signing up for. Like we know that like life is a project. What she's saying is like, we don't, we're not going to take it to the extreme of buying the like $3,000 boat uh -huh. to go learn how to sail. Uh -huh. Like we're going to invest a little bit more on the front yeah. side. Yeah. But that's just where we're at. And we've lived our life, you know, we've made other choices during years that maybe we might have made that decision. Yeah, totally. We're not trying to compare, like, our experience to anybody else's. Like, yeah. we're just trying to recognize that, like, everyone's experience is different. Mm -hmm. And this is, um, they've chosen a path that we totally respect and vibe with. And um, admire. And admire. Like, we've done this path with mm -hmm. other parts of our life. Mm -hmm. um, we're just not doing it with this part of our life. Yeah. And and so we, um, you know, like all the couples that we have chosen to meme today, um, we have a deep respect and admiration for this couple. Yeah. So Jordan and Desiree, Project Atticus, we've memed you. Congratulations on Atticus 2, by the way. Like, we are in totally awe. envious and in awe of your uh, new vessel. We in think awe. that, it, I mean, you totally deserve it. Yes. And we think you have made excellent choices. Absolutely. It makes me a little misty-eyed, honestly, thinking about, you know, their Atticus 1 and their Atticus 2 and what a tremendous expression of progression mm -hmm. in life and lifestyle choices and commitment to the relationship. It's honestly an amazing thing that they've documented their journey in the way that they have. And I totally want to sincerely thank the two of them for being as vulnerable, raw and honest as they have been with their production, which has been beautifully executed. Totally. Yeah. So we got to kind of call out the buddy thing. <laughs> yeah. dude. Like, I mean, we know what your child's nickname will be. So, so we gave you a Mr. Buddy doll. Yeah. Dude, do you remember this doll? I know you do because like you're the same age as I am. Yeah. So like, my you know, buddy. my buddy, my, my buddy. buddy and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's so like, Y'all are fucking cheesy, and we great. love it, man. <laughs> like, we totally fucking I'm love sure it. I'm sure they have a t-shirt that says buddy. Like, I know. Do they? they? They've got to. So, like, it's, that shit's funny. Yeah, if there's, like, an inside joke, like, we want to know it. So uh, hook us up. Like, we fucking, we, yeah, you guys are another one that has done, like, a really great job at um, – building community mm -hmm. uh, we saw what you're doing at the annapolis boat show with the fucking charter on the schooner and we think that's fucking cool mm -hmm. and congratulations on selling that shit out and we will not be writing our podcast subscribers names on our arms yeah we can't do that like <laughs> i i don't know how you wash that off every week desiree but like that you're a diehard girl <laughs> That's commitment for sure. And so all the names are still in uh, Atticus 1 too, right? So whoever buys the boat gets to like paint over like all the names of all the <laughs> people that <laughs> helped. Uh, yeah, no, fund it, your it is cool. And like we totally, I'm poking fun at something that's like actually kind of cool and deep and meaningful. Very like meaningful. you, you wrote the people's names on the vessel. 
you know, cause I mean, fuck dude, they kept you going and like whatever keeps you going, like, you know, we respect you guys. Yeah. We poke fun at everybody. Yeah. And like we, yeah, yeah. we, we want to hang out. We definitely want to hang out. So next we have our number one couple. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, you know that this is like my favorite bro. Yeah. Like we would bro out. Totally our favorite <laughs> couple, hands down by far. And I think we've seen enough of the sailing couples to like say with confidence, like these guys are our favorite sailing couple. These are one of our, this is one of our early ones too. Yeah. Right. And we this is like, early. this is one of our first ones we found and that we were like really kind of brought us in the space and we were like, dude, like there's more people like that out there. Like we're fucking. Yeah. So we're kind of spoiled we're, because we're hundred percent. We caught on their videos and like, you know, in terms of who's doing it well. And what do you think that is? What do they do well? So the thing I like the most about this channel is they is how they don't take themselves seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like they do, but they don't. They totally do. But then they can walk that line it's and so, they don't they walk it it's great so fucking gracefully too so gracefully like it's not it's not like it's never like fucking try hard shit dude like it never feels like try hard they're like killing it, it never feels like overdone it never feels like you know so it's one like thing what it does is like i feel like what they're good at lauren is telling a story right you know and here's the thing about this channel this channel, if you go back and watch some early stuff, it's like, okay, whatever. It would be like listening to us right now where we're just fucking doing it, right? Just throwing it out there, trying to figure it out. But over the course of time, it's evident that they have made little adjustments and improvements to the content that they're creating, which now if they have a live video or if they post a video, we're totally clicking right away because well, we want to know, we want to see we want to fucking be in the fucking loop and on the fucking vibe. It reminds so, me of like video boating to where like you have to be like, it's like you have to like acknowledge the camera and like be present for the camera. But then you also have to like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's like you got to tell the story of the trip, right? But you also have to be like present in the moment of the trip to like, it's not like you're just filming everything and then going back and like picking out the good parts. It's like you're telling the story with the camera as you go. So like, it's like, oh wait, we should film this. Like it, this is part of our story. And like the, you know, we, we do video buddy. It's like, we do the whole like zoom into the water. And then when you turn the camera back on, you like zoom out of the water and it's like the transitions already built in. So you don't even fucking have to edit. You know what I mean? And like, that's their videos. Like they're so honest, but I just, I feel they're not recording everything, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like they're doing a really good job and yeah, like just go for it, babe. Their personalities too you know, is like what I love the most is that like their personality totally shines through on camera, but in a very natural way, like that it's an honesty and authenticity that comes through with the video, which you can't teach that. I don't think no. when it comes to creating content, either you got it or you don't. And if you do got it, then you can practice at it, which they have done and they have honed it to the point where like right now the quality and the level that their videos are at is like something super compelling and interesting to watch. Yeah. I mean, so they're basically killing it. It's Matt and Kristen yeah. sailing GBU. Neptune's Reaper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sailing GBU. It's not all tits and ass over here. These people are fucking smart and yeah. like they're honest and fucking yeah like we see you guys like i mean m one of the things i respect the most about you matt is you are totally comfortable and seem to know who you are 
um, and and total totally comfortable with who you are. And Kristen, like, same fucking thing. And the positive vibes. Yeah, total fucking positive vibes and honesty like radiates from these people. And like we appreciation have, for life. We've really fucking enjoyed watching you guys succeed. Yeah. Over the past you know year or six yeah when we were thinking about criteria for like who's our you know top selling couples like one of the main criteria is do you want to share a sundowner with these people oh yeah of course we uh, would fucking 100 shit hammered with these two <laughs> so your boat is also a criteria which what you guys are doing with your boat is oh God, also dude, like, extremely nobody inspiring has ever fucking cared for a hunter like you guys are fucking doing it like that's just the honest truth like, yeah so Kristen, good idea, bad idea whatever it is like we we respect it we respect the commitment to it i you think know, it's amazing it looks dope like y'all's little like mini refit bottom paint fucking like i mean whole top side like refinish it looks like a different boat yeah it's nuts so the meme is when you spend ten thousand dollars on your three thousand dollar boat and now it's worth five thousand bucks so we got neptune's reaper himself fucking with the on the sick, little deck that he built sick ass tan lines fucking like farmer tan going on sitting on the back deck that he built yeah the the new one the refinished <laughs> like fucking fiberglass fucking two by eight or whatever it is <laughs> like matt you're a mess, bro. <laughs> like a total fucking mess. And we fucking love you for it. We you know totally I mean? do. Like we are very, very envious of your uh, lifestyle and commitment to that lifestyle. Yeah. Inspired. Yeah. We're totally inspired by you guys. Fucking um, Matt was an MMA fighter and a gotta love that bartender or something in key west before they started sailing um and they're making it work and yeah they fucking and we hope youtube is being good to you yeah i know we think i mean we see you guys doing what you're doing mm -hmm. and like i think you guys got some shit going on fuck yeah 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 you guys so keep on doing it it seems they're to be gonna working. wag me wag me dude wag y'all know what wag me means you if guys you, are gonna make it hey and matt like i'm picking up your vibes bro i'm picking up your tips bro fucking if you know what wag me means tell me about it down in the comments below like comment subscribe we are all gonna make it all right thanks for showing us the way guys is that our last one that's the last one all right well let's fucking kill this bitch because it's been one hour we appreciate anyone who has made it through our little list of sailors we're gonna edit this shit no i think we leave it pretty long long form long form you might hear some long bleeps in there though i got a little wild we're gonna have to edit out the psychedelic wormhole I don't think so. I think everybody knows about microdosing. And if you're into microdosing, you're going to love macrodosing. We'll catch y'all next time. <laughs> All that right. Sailing Couple podcast. That sailing Couple. We're out, y'all. See you on the next one. Put that fade out music right here, G. Play that Cadillac. Back to you and me. Oh, I could just fit play. Alright, held it, podcast number one. Hell yeah, in the books.